So, did you see that Blizzard's app? This is something good. It says really bad and really good. What do you mean? So, they're adding role queuing for Overwatch. Okay. So, you can queue in as a specific role. Yeah. Wait, and you can't switch your, like, role, but you can okay. switch heroes in that role. I kind of like that. I kind of hate that. But, well, that wasn't... So, the bad... That's a good thing. The bad thing... This isn't a... You're gonna laugh at this. Oh, in man. the in the Overwatch League for the pro matches, same thing happens. They they want to change the seating so where people sit like in twos. Yeah. They sit in twos based off their role, and okay. it, let's say if a healer wants to switch, they have to actually switch. They seats. have to physically switch seats. Legendary helmet. They have to physically switch seats when they change their role. It's kind of just like a presentation thing that really doesn't matter, that... Blizzard always insists on such stupid things. Hey, I've got your helmet, buddy. But it's like... Sometimes they do something and I think to myself... Thank you. You know, what was your plan with that? So, is there anything else stupid with it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's well, stupid the, about Well, the fact that's stupid is that, you know, the, the comp has to be 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Uh, that does put a lot of... So, they they make you have two medics, two tanks, two Well, DPS. because that's how the seating is aligned. But what, I, I, what would happens assume, if they... I would assume that because it's aligned like that, you can't have more than that. Yeah, but I think I'm that's like, a little I'm ludicrous to... But if it is like that, isn't it not a little ludicrous to push a weird meta on the teams just because you want to have this weird specific seeding thing for your competition? The thing is that, you know, it's weird because it is and because they love doing things like that for so long. Well, the reason. thing is, it sounds like such a good idea until you realize what if they don't have two tanks? What if they don't have two DPS? What if they don't have... To healers. Yeah, like, doesn't and, that and seem I a don't like that I thought about it. Juicy? And now that that two 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 thing gets forced and ranked. Yeah, no, really? like seriously. Especially, like imagine if the meta changes, which it does all the time in Overwatch, because they change things. It's gonna be gonna a lot do? more strict. Yeah, like that's so that's such a weird thing to push on. So like, the I like the scene. idea. Yeah. I think oh, it's the a idea good idea. Is well, genius because, until you think about it for 12 seconds. Normally, normally it is 2-2-2. Two, 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 yeah. But there are certain cases where... It's not going to be 2-2-2 two, two, two for everything. Like, because yeah. imagine... Like, think about if they do something really silly in a year. Where they're like, oh, for some reason there's like four tanks. Like, imagine... Because I think it was like that way back when. World like, of Tanks? <laughs> yeah, like... What was that? Season, season, four. season 4 World of Tanks? Yeah, that was silly. Like, if they do some absolutely stupid stuff like that, it's gonna happen, but you're gonna be nerfed and competitive, because you're gonna say, well, I really wish we had this, that, and this, but our best is to pair these two together. You know, I really think their balancing is so weird, because it's, it's like, there's, yeah. there's heroes like Orisa that are like extremely oh. annoying. Oh yeah, where it's like, in casual unless, play? unless you're running like some crazy like, anti-shield team, it's it's like, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna keep popping up a new one, stinky. Yeah, but... like, in casual, Reese is just like, I just, I absolutely hate it. Our, yeah, because everybody, everybody uses it because... She's annoying to play against. Is it one of those things where in casual something's a god, but in competitive it's But in like, competitive, yeah. Which would explain, you know, again, May. May's super annoying. But yeah. apparently she's weak because she gets buffed. Well, the thing is, it's like, is it is it blizzard? Is it blizzard balancing or is it real balancing? Do they just buff somebody because people thought like the rank 20s thought she was bad. I, I always assume that when there's a buff, it's because they're not viable in high rank play. Because the thing is, my friends that play World of Warcraft, they always say that, you know, it seems like Blizzard balancing is a little, uh, eh? Oh, I mean, so I maybe feel that's League it. Of Legends. When, when characters like Arisa and Mei get buffed, I'm like, they're already incredibly annoying. 
Oh, I was old. <laughs> Two knockdown shields in a Look life at this. package? Look at this! Oh, what? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> no, imagine if you wrote it. <laughs> no, think about that. Oh my god. So, oh, that oh. that reminds me of um. There's a super power play that I didn't know existed in Overwatch. Yeah. Which was oh, Diva so and Symmetra teleporting. No, People don't tell like, me it works. Diva's like stupid. Why did she just all oh, out of nowhere? Don't and then, tell you me know, it works exactly like I think the it works. Ult, you know, teleports right behind you. Oh, that's so that's crazy, dude. Like that's like that's like unforeseeable goofy business. Like, what are you gonna do when that happens? Is that a recent thing, or is that always been a thing? Uh, it's been a thing ever since they made her teleporter her E ability. Which has been like a pretty long time, right? I think it's been like a year, at least. Well, it's not a uh, long time for us because we don't even play freaking Overwatch. Why? Well, I, I, like, I oh. you know, every few months I'll get into it for a few weeks. Every few months I'll start it up and play one game and say, oh, this is why I left. Oh. It's just like the randoms in Overwatch. Sometimes I question. They're almost like the randoms in Apex. They're yeah. almost, but I would dare to say that the randoms in Overwatch are worse. Friends, I'm going to loot here. Well, at least with Because you're relying like... on more people to do a job. Yeah. Because at least with Apex, you have one random. I guess two, depending on when you're playing. But if you're having problems in Overwatch, it's because you got four, five other randoms? Yeah, five. Because it's like, dude, you're expecting... Because if one of them drops the ball in Apex, it's like, fine, you know, I'll do it myself. But if somebody does it in Overwatch, it's like, you know, I wish I had heals. I can't guys. really do anything, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, if your tank messes up, it's like, dude, I don't have a tank. If your healer messes up, dude, I don't have a healer. If your DPS messes up, dude, I need to, I need to help somebody from dying, and it's not them. Can I get a zipline from up here to down there? Oh, yeah, sure. But yeah, no... Like, I hate playing big team games like that, where there's actual need to rely on people. Because unless yeah. I have, like, unless I'm, like, you know, night out with the boys going full pre-made, it's not fun. Or maybe if it's, like, you, me, and Michael. Then it's, like, there's some chance. There's a like... lot of leeway if you got more people. Yeah, because at least you can yell at them to do better. Oh, gosh, 